Morning, guys. How are we doing? Welcome to today's news update uh, and look at what's been happening here in the city and what the events and things that are coming up in the near future. So what has been happening? Uh, well, the good news is uh, you may recall if you watched last week, I'm doing the rooms up here in the Buzzing Lounge. And uh, the first one we've uh, we've uh, taken on, we're doing all the bathroom. Really. Starting to really take shape now. So once we've got that done, we'll put all the new furniture in and everything. Uh, but watch this space, guys. If you want a room and you want to stay above us here in the lounge, uh, details will be announced as and when the first room is finished. Once we've done the first room, we can do the room next door, and that'll be the first floor covered then. Uh, and then we'll just keep progressing and moving forward as we go. So yeah, so if you are looking for something very central, right above us here in the lounge, then uh, have a have a look and uh, watch this space. Details will be announced soon. We will we will advertise them on a go to and stuff like that. Uh, but if you come direct through me, it'll be much cheaper, much better, and uh, you'll obviously get a better rate. Right, so uh, that's the room. Now, uh, one thing that they are doing, which it says here in the Patea, uh, Patea Mail, which is great news, it says Patea Bally High Pier Walkway roof to be completed ahead of high season. Uh, and that's really good because if you're not sure, when you go over to um, Kolan, you have to go down a really long stretch of uh, pier to get down to the ferry boats, which are at the far end. And, you know, in a hot day, it can be quite a walk. Uh, it can be very hot. So what they've done is they put this roof structure over, you know, which is great news. You know, it's, it's what we need. It will help you keep you cool. It says here, Patea Thailand, on the September the 10th, Mayor Poromet Nampichet confirmed that the installation of the 310-metre roof for the Bali High Pier Walkway is on schedule. He stated work is progressing smoothly and is set to be completed in time for the up-and-coming high season. So... There we go. 310 metres. That's a lot longer than I have uh, visualised. Oh, yeah. Have, have, a, have a get a limb for Christie. Have a sprint on. That's the only you can take to do it. But yeah, 310 metres. Wow. That looks a deceiving. Uh, but yeah, so that's good. It's a good step in the right direction. Obviously, we're, we're leading up to high season. Uh, Got to say, last month, cards on the table, guys. Last month was the quietest month that we've had uh, in terms of people coming through the door, and not just in Buzzing, but across the whole town. The good news is this month there's a noticeable increase in the amount of people coming out, which is great news. So hopefully you guys will be out here soon and then we can we can pick up where we left off. Uh, now, for those of you who are coming out uh, in the not too distant future, from September the 20th to October the 6th, this might interest you. It says here, Patea hosts Oktoberfest. Oh, man. The largest German food and drink festival in town, September the 20th until October the 6th. You know, when I was in the army, when I was based over in Celle in Germany, uh, I went to a few of those, uh, I went to those Oktoberfests and they were brilliant and they did a Schutzenfest as well. Here's a question, who's done those? Who's Who's been in Germany and done the Oktoberfest or the Schutzenfest? Man, they were brilliant. It uh, says here, indulge in delicious German cuisine. Uh, oh, Bratwurst, Mick Cuddy, oh, Cuddyverse. Oh, then God, got bringing back some memories now. Uh, indulge in delicious German cuisine and enjoy a variety of international beverages at the Patea Oktoberfest 2024. The largest German food, uh, themed food and drink festival in Patea the festival will take place from September 20th to October the 6th at the beachfront activity area on the ground floor of Central Patea Shopping Mall. 5 p.m. until midnight. I'm definitely going to go down there. I will definitely bring that to the channel. That is my cup of tea. It, oh, German food, man. Oh, right. Uh, where are we? So that's that one done. Uh, now, it says here in the uh, Patea News. No, uh, where are we? Yeah, the uh, space of Billable has been completed. Uh, it says here... Patea celebrates the grand opening of the Space Billabong Bar and Beer Garden. I haven't been there and done a video yet. I will try my best. Uh, the problem is my evenings are fairly committed already, which is why you don't get many nighttime videos from me, but more day stuff and things to do in the daytime. But I will get it down there and try my best. It says the much anticipated grand opening of Space of Billabong Bar and Beer Complex took place with great fanfare. The lively event drew a crowd of both Thai and foreign tourists eager to experience the new venue. Uh, they got to a snooker table, live music, uh, or a few other things going on there. It says here, uh, with the capacity to accommodate up to 80 tables or more than 250 people. That'll be a hell of an atmosphere if they manage to pack that out. Uh, the space at Billabong Bar and Beer Garden is well equipped to handle large crowds. Obviously, yeah, that's that kind of thing. Uh, it's actually, it's located in Made in Thailand. So I will get down there, guys. Made in Thailand is not very far from the Buzzing Lounge. Uh, I will get down there and see what's going on, see, how, see what I can bring to the channel for you. But yeah, good news, it's open. It's, it's um, nice to see a lot of new things happening there. On the subject of new things that are happening, so I made mention last week about the uh, the food vendors in El Kemetju. Uh, they've all been removed. Uh, there is a new club on the corner. Uh, it's believed, I don't know, this is just hearsay. I'm not saying this is down to them at all. I'm just saying that this is what's being said. Uh, but it's believed that the bar on the corner requested that they were moved. Uh, and consequently, they have now been moved. I'm not quite sure where they've been relocated to. As I find out stuff, I'll bring that to the news recently, let you know. 
Uh, but yeah, you know, that area now is, is no longer uh, the little hustle and bustle of food. They used to have some brilliant food. They really did. But unfortunately, oh, you know, the times have changed and they've been asked to move on. So yeah. So don't think you've uh, had a few too many. If you walk around a corner and you're like, oh, hang on, where's all the food gone? Uh, they have been moved on. But uh, the Donners, the MK Donners, uh, McDonald's, they're in there. They're still there because they're on the other side. They're tucked away. So you've got no worries if you want a Donner kebab. To be truthful, add one last night. I was out with the lads. Add one last night. Absolutely delicious. Oh, if you like your kebabs, go there. All uh, right, what else we got here? Um, now, you may recall a while back, uh, sadly, a gentleman fell off the back of a Bart bus. And uh, what they've done on the back of that now is this Patea launches a safety campaign for Songtail drivers to protect tourists. It says they've, uh, the Patea authorities, in collaboration with the local transport and Izuzu, uh, have launched a safety campaign for Songtail, which is called the Bart Buses locally, uh, drivers to enhance tourist safety and improve the city's image following a tragic accident involving a foreign visitor. You know, the thing is, is like when you got good up, well, for me, I just think to myself, is it the Songtail driver's responsibility in terms of making sure passengers sit down? Because when he's driving, if you got up and went and stood on the back, just for argument's sake, he could be end up stopping every, every five seconds. And I think what should be happening is maybe, you know, if the police are, are riding around, you know, be a bit more vigilant and maybe, you know, stop the bus and say to the people on board, look, guys, you've got to sit down. Or, you know, or even, I mean, I, I know they won't do it, but even take the step away at the back. Then that way, people can't stand on it. So, you know, it was very sad. It was a, it was a shocking incident. Uh, but they are trying to do things about it and improve it, which is good. It's good that they've, uh, you know, taken action instead of ignoring it. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I stand on the back of the bar buses. I put my hands up to that one. Um... I think originally they were made just for baggages, for suitcases, I believe. I'm not sure. But anyway, but, you know, you walk around the city, you'll see hundreds of people standing on the back. So, but anyway, fingers crossed. Hopefully, they will do that. Uh, now, if you haven't been over to Bang Chang, get yourself over there, guys. I was in Bang Chang recently. I took a group of guys over. It was a brilliant night. We I took uh, 10 people over. We've got a minibus organized. And uh, we went over there. We had a really nice afternoon. We, we got there about 3 o'clock. Left at 8 o'clock. Had a five-hour uh, fun and games. And it really was good. If you haven't been to Bang Chang, I uh, will do these trips every uh, first Wednesday. Be the first, well, either the first or second Wednesday of every month. I'm going to go into Bang Chang. This week's tour, if you're interested, come down to the Buzzing Lounge at 3 p.m. That's all right, 2 p.m. Uh, I'm going to take a group of people over to the uh, east side of the dark side. Uh, I will put the event in Discord. You need to sign up on there, guys, if you want to come. It's limited spaces. But these are just an opportunity to go and see things maybe you haven't seen before, maybe you've never gone to. So, Bang Chang, I've got to say, we had a fantastic night. We really did. Uh, everything's, it's a bit like back in the old days. It's all behind closed doors and read into that what you want. Uh, but we had a really good time. Went over to MC Sports Bar. Now, Charlie, if you're watching me, thank you very much for your hospitality. We, we started at his bar. Then we had a wander around at the area. So a small little strip, small little strip of bars. Probably, I don't know, there's probably 20 bars there. Each bar's got between sort of three to 10 girls. And it was good fun, good fun. And then we went back to Charlie's bar and uh, finished on off there waiting for our minibus. But yeah, we had a really, really good time. So as I say, look in Discord, guys, if you want any more information. There's a lot more coming. I'm going to do a trip to Bangkok, one night in Bangkok, east side of Pattaya, Bang Chang. I'm going to do the uh, pool party at the end of every month. That's on the last Wednesday of every month. So, yeah, we had a really good time. Uh, right, what do we got here? Um, now, uh, next one. Two is good, actually. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, talk about new stuff going on. I'll tell you, there's a lot of buildings being uh, renovated right now. Now, you may remember Nikki's Bar. Nikki's Bar's now relocated. It's just opposite down the side alley there. Uh, so if you remember Nikki's Bar behind you, just walk straight across. You'll see the side alley. Go down there. They've got a lovely big unit. I haven't been down there yet to get a video of it. I will do. And I'll go and speak to her and see what that was all about. But yeah, so they, they've moved into much more bigger, nicer and uh, open premises. And there's lots of little units here and there that are getting renovated. So again, you know, it's a step in the right direction. There are a lot of changes happening here in the city. Right, what's coming up this week in terms of events and things you might want to do? Well, don't forget today uh, is our meetup, our Monday meetup, 3 p.m. here at the Buzzing Lounge. What we will do is we will take you off into different areas, uh, different bars maybe you haven't been to in the past. Uh, we're getting a good lot of numbers now, so it's, it's really getting a good way to network and meet friends and find other, you know, find other people that you've got something in common with. Especially if you're traveling alone, you know, come down and join us, guys. It really is great fun. Or if you're with your mates, you know, bring them along. The more, the merrier. But that's 3 p.m. here at the Buzzing Lounge. Come and join in, guys. Uh, now, tomorrow, Akira Club presents Harvest Moon. Now, Akira Club is down there in Walking Street. It says, get ready for a unique twist on the full moon party at Akira Club, Patea. 
Traditionally, a time for gathering crops. We're putting our own spin on it. Think less farming, more party. We'll be harvesting good vibes and a bumper crop of dance moves as the moon lights up the Patea night sky. Now, all the information for all these events I'm talking about, guys, if you look down in the video description, uh, there will be a link there for you. And then all you've got to do is click that link and it'll, it'll just uh, take you over to where you want to go. But yeah, so the Akira Club, Patea for a harvest moon. Uh, it starts at 10 o'clock at night. It's almost been bedtime. Uh, 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I guess it will finish till the early hours. Uh, where do we say? It doesn't say what time it finishes. Uh, but yeah, but I'm, I was, uh, yeah, it doesn't say. Okay, but yeah, so 10 o'clock at night. I'm guessing probably around about 3, 4, something like that in the morning. Uh, now on Tuesday again, tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, there is the Patea Hospitality Show 2024. And that's at the Zion Hotel, uh, Patea. And that's over by um, Naklua. It says here, uh, join us on September, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this event showcases products and services for the hotel and the tourism industry under the theme Twist to Value. It's the ultimate perform uh, platform to explore innovative ideas, create new value, and witness the best in hospitality. Don't miss out on the opportunity to experience top-tier competitions and exhibitions where service excellence takes center stage in Thailand's most vibrant tourism destination. There you go, guys. So if that's your thing, get yourself over there, go and have a look at that and uh, see what's going on. Now, uh, over in Jom Tien, uh, Marco's, you may know Marco's restaurant. Now, on every Wednesday, they are doing a ladies' day every Wednesday at Marco's. Uh, that's down on the Trapaya Road. It says here, uh, get ready to sip, celebrate, and enjoy our special offer. Buy one, get one free cocktails all day. Uh, conditions apply it's for the ladies only and no sharing your cocktails so you've got to have a cocktail on your own but uh, yeah if you buy one you get one free so if you want to go out with the wife or the girlfriend or the newfound love of your life and you want to spoil her take her down to marco's she can indulge in cocktails uh, the great food there as well really good food and that's on wednesday that's all day from midday through till 10 o'clock in the evening buy one get one free cocktails for the ladies and talking about ladies who knows euro Yura is at the Queen of Go-Go Club here in LK Metro. It's her birthday party here on Wednesday. Uh, that starts at 8 o'clock in the evening and goes through till 3 p.m. Uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. So if you're not sure, it's in LK Metro. So if you know where the buzzing lounge is, go down Sui Chapo until the very end. Turn right, and then on the left-hand side, you will see Sugar Sugar. Go into Sugar Sugar. Well, not into Sugar Sugar, but we can if you want to do, do both. No, but anyway, go past Sugar Sugar on your left-hand side. There's a natural left-hand bend. As you go around the bend, the Queen Club is on the left-hand side there. Normally you have about 50 to 60 girls there. It's a really good vibe. And uh, yeah, you'll enjoy yourself in there, especially with it being a party. It starts from 8 p.m. in the evening. There's free food and they've got a live DJ as well. So pop yourself down there, guys. And then once you're in that area, then you can explore LK. LK is a good area. If you haven't been out and about for a while or you haven't been here before, LK, in my opinion... I get a lot of feedback from people, but in my opinion, I, I prefer LK to pretty much anywhere else. I like soy, soy boomerang as well. Soy boomerang is down by um, the opposite hospital. You go down to Soy Bacal, you've got the big Padilla City Hospital on your left-hand side. Opposite there, you've got Playgirls, Heaven Above, Club Fate. There's some good good uh, venues there you can go pop into. But LK, the feedback I get is the people that are going down to Walking Street uh, coming up to me and saying, you know what, it's no big deal. I won't be going back there. It was just uh, wasn't for them. But a lot more people are focusing on LK Metro. So, you know, it's a good area. It's good by me. Have a nice time. Now, uh, this is Wednesday, 18th September. A very special day. We'll celebrate the birthday of our great woman, Yura. Uh, come early to be sure to have a sit, seat and make this night one. She's been there a long time. Long, long time. Uh, Wednesday, the 18th again. Now, this one starts at... Uh, what time does it say it start? It's, oh, no. Sorry, they're, they're reopening. So, here is the grand opening. The grand opening of uh, the Sauna Jomtien Beach Club. Now, we're excited to announce we open very soon. Now, only a new open campaign, only 100 baht until the 18th of this month. Uh, come and check it out. Stay tuned. Now, that's on uh, Sukhavit Road uh, down there. Doesn't really give us a lot of jump gym beach. They don't give a lot of him. You know, sometimes it's a bit difficult because like, I find these information there and I want to share as much as I can with you. And the level of detail is just really limited. But anyway, uh, go down there if you want this. It's... Uh, the sauna, the sauna jumps in beach club. Have a look on Facebook, guys. I'll put this link there. You can have a look at that. Uh, now, Friday, Friday this week. Don't well, sorry, Wednesday this week. Don't forget, we have got the uh, the, the east side of Patel. We're going to take you around there. But look in Discord for that, guys. The information is all in there. Now, on Saturday, now this is something that I really can't wait to do. As you know, or you may or not know, but I've had very, very high blood pressure for a long time now. 
Fortunately, my blood pressure is getting lower and lower. Uh, it's still a little bit high, but it's getting lower and lower. Uh, but on the Saturday, Saturday the 21st, uh, the Payd Project Aware Dive. And this is why I'm saying about my blood pressure. Is I couldn't do a dive because my blood pressure was too high. Now, hopefully, I'm going to go and see Neil at Real Divers. Uh, Neil, if you're watching, my friend, get ready. I'm going to come down and do that, that diving course that you su suggested. Uh, it says here, on the 14th to the 22nd of September, Payd Project Aware Week. Join our Project Aware Dive on the 21st of September, 4,200 baht. It includes two aware dives, a project aware certification, all equipment and lunch. I've got to say, I don't know what an aware dive means. Uh, I'm not into diving. So if you do know, guys, you know, pop your comment down below. What does it actually mean? I don't really know. Uh, but if you are into diving, you'll know that anyway. But yeah, that's what's coming up on Saturday. And don't forget, uh, Sunday. Sunday, if you're around the area, come and join us at the Buzzing Now. It's our, our um, live stream. Uh, don't worry, you're not on camera at all. You can just watch me and Beer uh, do stupid games, uh, eating things and all that kind of rubbish that goes on. It's a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun. You get to meet the girls as well. Uh, but yeah, if you are at a loose end on Sunday, and check us out. The link will be on YouTube for our Sunday uh, Sunday Fun Day live stream. Right, there we are. Uh, now, we do a monthly newsletter. Uh, the monthly newsletter goes out at the end of every month. If you'd like to receive the newsletter, please drop me an email, 247pataya at gmail.com. All you need to do is just in the head and just put newsletter. You don't need to say, hi, Jeff, how are you doing? Just literally newsletter. And what we'll do is then we'll add you to our newsletter the mailing list and you'll get a, um, an up-to-date uh, events what's going on and a quick brief uh, update on the city sent you at the end of every month so if you'd like to subscribe to that guys just drop us an email and i will add you to our list right there we are uh, thank you very much for watching guys please as always remember hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when i bring out a new video uh, if you want to see what goes on here in the nightlife uh, have a look at our instagram please follow us on instagram guys there's loads of great videos there just check it out the link's down there it's all fun and games with the girls so go and have a look at that guys that's on instagram Likewise with TikTok. TikTok is all about our daytime stuff. Uh, there's all restaurants, beaches, hotels, walkabouts, all that kind of stuff. So again, have a look on TikTok. Please follow us on there, guys. Now, if you haven't already, uh, jump into our Discord. There's over 20,000 members in Discord. It's a totally free of charge platform. Doesn't cost you a single penny. And it is a wealth of information. There's just so much going on there. All the rooms about different areas, different bars, restaurants, hotels. Uh, what's coming up, what's going on, chance to meet up with people, etc. So have a look on Discord. As I say, guys, totally free of charge. And if you'd like to support the channel and the work that I do here, please, at this moment in time, join us here on YouTube. Please become an elite member. Send me a, a screenshot of your membership and what we'll do is we'll send you a link back to our members-only Discord area and you also get to see some of our member-only videos. Okay, there we are. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And please, as always, wherever you're in the world, stay safe.